What's up guys, this is Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week 6 match for Red or the Regional Elite Draft League. This week we are taking on Shiny Spam and his Flint Tropius. Uh, this was a very scary matchup in prep <clears throat> because of things like Mega Mawile, Garchomp, and Mew. I just didn't have answers for, honestly, on my team. Um, and then things like Crobat just like rolled through Buzzwall, <laughs> for example. Uh, my defensive core just like couldn't handle his mons, and so I opted to go a different route, and I went basically HO with my team as well. Um, so his team is Garchomp, which is his user, Mew, Rotom Wash, Crobat, Decidueye, Alolan Persian is his other user, uh, Lycanroc Midnight, Simiseer, Munchlax, and Mega Mawile. Um, I wasn't actually expecting to see Simiseer, and it's here. I'm not entirely sure why, maybe just as another check to Buzzwool and Bikeable. Um, Simiseer's kind of bad, <laughs> in my mind. Uh, we played against it in the NCL against Corona in week two, I think that was, and it just, like, done, did nothing. Uh, although Corona brought, like, a physical set, which I really wasn't expecting, because the standard is, like, a nasty plot setup set. Um, so there you go with that. Uh, I'm really surprised to not see Garchomp. I was definitely expecting Garchomp to come. Uh, I prepped pretty hard for the Munchlax by bringing Psyshock on my Alakazam over Psychic. Uh, which I'm regretting now <laughs> because he didn't bring much lax. Uh, and I also had the uh, the buzzable there to just Oko much lax pretty much every single time. I think I'm also running the knockoff on Salazzle for much lax uh, if it was switch in. So I prepped really hard for much lax and didn't come. Um, I wasn't expecting Decidueye or like Rock Midnight anyways, so uh, no big surprise that they aren't here. Um, yeah, Garchomp is Garchomp and Munchlax are really the shocks that didn't come. Uh, I'm Annoyed that Rotom Wash is here because it's so goddamn annoying, but there you go. I can't do much about it. Um, Mega Mawile, again, I'm also annoyed. I really could have only hoped that he like didn't bring Mega Mawile for some reason, but it's just so good against my team. Like, There's no way he wasn't going to bring it. And Mew is also annoying just because it's like it can do anything and you can't really prep for, any for what it's going to do. So I actually just opted not to prep for Mew at all, uh, which is probably going to be a mistake, but we'll see and when we get into the battle here. So if you haven't seen my team builder, you should check that out, but I will run through the team really quickly here. We're running Spideff Vikabolt with Roost 3 attacks, uh, and HP Ice on this is completely worthless because he's going to bring Garchomp, uh, which means I really regret not bringing Thunderbolt now because Thunderbolt would have been really helpful against a lot of stuff. Uh, Salazzle is Flame Plate, Fire Blast, Knock Off, HP Ice, and Taunt. I have Taunt on there so that the Mawile can't just sub on my Salazzle. Uh, if he thinks Sucker Punch is going to kill, which is actually not around the Calico mat. Uh, physically defensive Dawn fan with Rocky Helmet. Ice Shard, Rapid Spin, Earthquake, and Toxic. Toxic's there for the Rotom Wash switching in, and it was for there for the Decidueye as well if that wanted to come in on the Earthquake. Uh, Ice Shard was there for the Crobat primarily, and it's also there to revenge kill the Garchomp, which again didn't come, so I definitely over prepped for Garchomp. Uh, we're a standard Lumberry SD3 attack Bisharp, like same as that you'd see on OU, but with the Lumberry. Uh, max speed, I think, too. Buzzwool is Scarf uh, Scarf Swole again, with Drain Punch, Leech Life, Ice Punch for the Garchomp, and Earthquake, uh, which is my best way to kill the Mega Mawile. Obviously, I eat Sucker Punches for days from the Mega Mawile, but uh, I basically have to sack him on off to Mega Mawile every time, and then he has to sack him on off. So basically, like, he doesn't really have switch ins to Buzzwool, if I'm being completely honest, besides Crobat. Um, basically just with the coverage that I have, like that's just kind of all it comes down to. And so Buzzwool is like my biggest threat against him, and Mega Mala is his biggest threat against me. So it's going to come down to who can manage their sacks properly, and who has a better supporting cast for their team. Uh, and then last but not least, Mega Alakazam is three attacks with recover. I'm running HP Fire because I thought it was going to be the best thing to hit a little in Persian with. Um, and we'll learn that that's not correct, but it's basically there to hit the Mega Mawile uh, instead of running Focus Blast, which could have done the same job. Pardon me. Pardon my yawning, I'm also feeling a little bit sick. I'm running Shadow Ball on there for the Mew, uh, excuse me, and the Decidueye, and then Psyshock is there only to hit the Munchlax. Psychic would have been a much better choice to hit his team overall a little bit better. So heading into the game, I decided that Vikavolt was my best answer for a Crobat lead, and basically everything else would be horrible against a Crobat lead. So I'm going to lead Vikavolt, and he's actually going to lead Crobat, <laughs> which I was like, oh. God, why are you leading Crobat? I wanted like a Rotom Wash lead or something like that, and then I just threatened out the Rotom Wash turn one or something, but um, it doesn't matter. He didn't bring his ground type, so I can just Volt Switch freely, which is actually what I'm going to do right here. As he's going to Brave Bird, and that damage uh, shows me that he's adamant and he's a boosting item. I calc with Sharp Beak, and he actually told me after the game he's Skyplate, which is the exact same thing. It's the same role. Um, 
because he's definitely not banded adamant based on that damage. It's too little for band, and it's too much for just standard adamant, so that's what we figured out there. Bolt Switch is just going to be able to pick him off after the, uh, the Brave Bird Recoil. I actually think Bolt Switch would have killed him regardless. And I had to decide, and I guess I went into Zam here. Um, Mawile can just like really sucker punch me, and he shows that he's like Hyper Cutter, I think, rather than Intimidate. I'm actually a little bit surprised that he's not running Intimidate. Um, probably just because he wanted to switch in on Bisharp, and he didn't want to give Bisharp the attack boost, is what I would guess. Because uh, I don't have anything to lower his attack for him to be Hyper Cutter. So, I'm gonna go into my Dawn Fan, and he's gonna make an amazing double, predicting Dawn Fan to be my answer to that, and then he's gonna go and run him. Uh, I decided to opt to Toxic this thing as he Hydro Pumps me and takes me down to Sturdy. I do land the Toxic, which is gonna be really helpful, and then I get some nice chip off of the Ice Shard there. I uh, Hydro Pumps again. He shows not to be leftovers, so we can assume he's some kind of offensive variant. If he had missed the Hydro Pump there, I would have gotten even more chip off of the Ice Shard, which will help out a lot later, or I could have saved Don Fan, but really I didn't have a Hydro Pump answer. And I didn't want to sack off Bike Bolt yet, and I didn't think Don Fan was going to be that relevant. Because um, again, Don Fan is like a free sub for Mawile, but I can always break the sub for Mawile, but when I'm that low, Sucker Punch is going to pick me up anyways. Uh, so now I'm going to go into Alakazam, and I decided to Shadow Ball here, predicting like Persian to come in on me, and I should have Psy Shocked. Uh, it's basically what we see from the Shadow Ball damage, is that he's very offensive, uh, and now he's going to go into Persian. And I'm going to recover on the Persian, seeing what he wants to do. Foul play is doing a lot to me. And I'm going to HP fire, and then this foul play is going to crit me and kill me. Uh, it looked like it was a roll, potentially, so I don't know if the crit actually mattered, but it did suck, because Alakazam could have easily come in on, like, Mew, Sinister, obviously. Uh, and I had recover to play around with the Sucker Punch mind games on Mawile there, obviously. Uh, HP fire wasn't doing anything to this little incursion. It's really infuriating, but the he shows to be, like, relatively specially bulky based on that damage. I'm just going to go into Bike Vault here, and I was thinking I was going to Roost, because I knew Foulplay wasn't doing anything, let me see how much it does. Um, and I could have just like Bug Buzz to kill him here, but I thought that I thought that Full Switch was maybe my best play here, in case he wanted to switch into something else, because Bug Buzz just seems so obvious against the Persian. Um, but looking back on it, like the only reason he had Persian was for the Mega Zam, and so I should have just Bug Buzz here or Roosted. Uh, Roost probably would have been the better play, because then I might have been able to eat a hit from Mega Mawile later. But uh, I opt to not do either of those, and I'm going to opt to Volt Switch instead, uh, which does a lot of damage. Again, showing that he's like especially bulky. Going to Slazzle here, I'm just going to be able to Fire Blast whatever's coming in. Rotom Wash isn't even going to take it when it's that low. Uh, and now I can choose to show off that I'm not Scarf, which I'm going to do because I don't want to miss another Fire Blast, so I'm just going to knock off. Uh, I didn't want to miss the Fire Blast. I didn't want him switching into something either. Um, and so now that we're only 10 turns in, you guys can see that this is like absolutely a huge hyper offense game with my bulky team, so it's definitely a matchup that I'm not super comfortable in with just the way that I built my team. <laughs> um, but Salazzle does threaten Mega Mawile, like, forever. He's gonna opt to go into Persian here, and I'm thinking that he might be Scarf, because he hasn't shown me a reason that he's not Scarf. Uh, so I'm just gonna go into my Vike Bowl here and sack it off, because uh, Fake Out... Uh, he shows Fake Out, sorry. Oh, God, excuse me. Um, this turn I roosted. I did roost this time, uh, because foul play did, you can see foul play did 18% last time, uh, so I'm not sure about the entire damage calc there, but it looks like it's actually a roll, and he's going to catch me with the foul play and kill me again. Uh, could have been big if I roosted there, because then Vikabolt could have gotten a hit off on something else, or at least brought in the Sinister, which Salazzle was a decent switch into, I don't know. Um, I don't really have a great Simisir answer at this point in the game, but I mean, again, it's garbage. Like, it has really bad stats. Uh, I'm just going to opt to bring a Bisharp, and I'm just going to click Iron Head, because I think it's my best answer. Uh, it's uh, it's the only move that's going to kill this Persian, and I just want to SD for no reason, so uh, I am just going to Iron Head, and he's actually going to bring... He's in a U-turn, so we see that he's not parting shot. Obviously, really good prep, but Bisharp forces that to be prepped for. <laughs> um, I didn't calc any of the damage on this, but I thought maybe if I got the flinch on the Mawile, I could have won. Um, player is going to come off, and that's really sucky. Sucker Punch is never killing my Slazzle, and luckily I hit the Fire Blast there to take it out. Uh, so bye bye Mega Mawile, that's the most like offensive thing against me. I switched to Buzzball on the Fake Out here, he's definitely going for it. I knew that already. And then Leech Life covers the Persian and the Mew if he wanted to switch into Mew. Uh, but unfortunately, now the Simus is going to be able to come in. Um, and I didn't calc it, I might have actually been able to live Flamethrower. I was calcing Fire Blast, and I definitely died to Fire Blast. Um, but like plus one leech life was two shotting this thing and it was doing a lot to the Mew. So uh, had I known that he was running flamethrower over fire blast, Buzzwell could have actually stayed in there 
probably live that. You know what? We're gonna calc it. We're gonna calc it. We're gonna calc it right now. Because I'm actually really curious. So Simiseer. He didn't show me an item, so I don't know what he was. Uh, sorry, he's not actually Life Orb. Uh, I know that for sure. Let's assume he's a Leechy Berry against Buzz, Wool, Nitro, and you have Flamethrower over Fire Blast. Okay, never mind. I wasn't even looking for the throw, so it doesn't matter. Uh, my theory modding doesn't <laughs> doesn't make any difference. Um, assuming he was timid, which he actually could have easily been modest against my team as well, because my base 100s don't run any speed. Um, so even if he was modest, I mean, like plus like you guys can see what plus one leech life is doing now to his to his semester here. You can see on the screen it's doing 51.5 to 60.8 depending on his HP investment. So. I was definitely in a good spot to just keep clicking on each life. Um, but yeah, had I known that he had Flamethrower, I might have played it a little bit differently, but running the calc here, it's not, it's definitely not a roll at all. So my theory mining is incorrect. So anyways, I'm going to sack off this Lazlo because I want to get the easy kill with Earthquake afterwards. And maybe his Mew doesn't have psychic coverage for me, I don't know. Um, it probably does, but there we go. I have to click Earthquake to get the damage off on that, and then Earthquake's not going to be able to kill the Mew here, so he's just going to be able to pick me off. Um, it did a little bit more than I expected the Mew, actually, but he's going to be able to pick me off with the Psychic there. So we do lose 1-0. Uh, I was expecting to lose this matchup because it just looked so horrible on paper to me, but uh, it turns out that it was just a hyper-offense game where we just like were trading kills back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, I don't know about the rolls on the Persian. I'm not sure how much they mattered. I'm not even sure how much the crit on the Alakazam mattered. Um, I definitely could have outlasted the foul plays with recovers on my Megazam and eventually taking the Persian low enough with HP fire. But, um, I mean, Megazam wasn't doing a whole lot to him anyways after that. Like, it could have heard the Mew a lot, but it just died to Sucker Punch from Mawile, and we still don't know what his set was. Like, all I saw was Sucker Punch from Player Rough. So I don't know if he was, like, sub SD or anything excuse me, sub SD or anything like that. Uh, he didn't really need the steel coverage against me, so I can't imagine that he had Iron Head on there at all. Uh, he could have just play roughed my comfy. That would have been the only thing that was a problem. Um, yeah, uh, I did make some drops heading into week seven, and I'll talk about those in the week seven team builder when they're approved, because they haven't been approved yet. So I'm not sure if they're um, pushed through or not, but there you go. So that's gonna be it for me guys, and I will catch you guys for week seven.